Uh, tomorrow's a pretty big day. Uh, today was the first day of spring, uh, which is hiking season. My friend Alan and I are going to be headed to Keha Beach. Uh, the weather's supposed to be good. We have a couple day window. Uh, super excited. First trip of the year. property manager here. So note to self, uh, never buy beer in Manfield. Uh, I just paid $38 for a 15 pack and it's warm. All right, so we just arrived here at the trailhead. Uh, we're gonna do some backpack restructuring. Uh, we're packing probably a few unnecessary items. Lots of cougars here. We're gonna camp on the beach tonight. We are going to have a gigantic fire. All right, so here we are, uh, just a couple minutes into the trail. Uh, the muck level so far is not that bad. Uh, it's very overgrown though, the trail. Uh, everything's wet, uh, everything's slippery. There's old boardwalks, uh, they're very dilapidated. Nice sunny day though. So Alan uh, just stepped in a puddle that uh, was about an inch from the top of his boots. Uh, so there's definitely some ankle breakers in here. So Ellen's already wet, so I've gotten in the lead here, We're making quite a bit better time here. Everything's slippery, everything's wet, uh, spider webs everywhere. So this trail is pretty technical, I mean, it could slip, break an ankle. All right, so we reached the junction in the trail, uh, left uh, Kiha Bay, right to the uh, Cape Beale Lighthouse. Uh, the first couple kilometers in here were pretty technical, uh, very slippery, very muddy. Uh, super awesome day, second day of spring, absolutely beautiful. After the junction, uh, the whole trail becomes just a small stream running down through a gnarly, tangled route. Uh, it's getting worse, and I can hear my hiking partner up ahead cursing and, and making weird noises. So that is what we just walked through. I mean, it's, it's freaking bad. This trail sucks. It's just pure mud. Like, it's just technical route, slippery mud. We made it to the lake. I can't remember the name of the lake. It's a, it's a First Nations name. Kiha? No, it's not Kiha. It's Kilaha or something. Kilu Kilu Kilu, 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 or Kalu? Kalu Lake? Kalu? Kichika. Kicha. Kicha. Kita. Kicha. Kicha. Some lake in the woods. Uh, you can't get to it. I mean, it looks super cool, but there's absolutely no trail whatsoever. This is what we're tracking through. Kind of veering off the lake now, the trail is not a swamp, but it is super growing in. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Alan's getting cranky. Oh, oh. All right, so that bridge we just crossed is, uh, is at the end of the lake. The trail is looking a lot better. Some huge old growth here. Uh, this trail's not easy this time here. So we just got to the top of the, the only hill on this trail. Uh, it's not long, but it's pretty steep. You hear the ocean surf crashing us. I think we made it. That was a lot tougher than I thought. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 
Kiha Beach in all its glory. So we're just looking for a spot here to uh, set up camp. This is like one of those beaches where I don't think it gets many visitors. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. I mean, it's like a beach in Hawaii. <sighs> Message in a bottle? Is this your broom? Your witchy broom? You can scoop it. So at the outhouse here, there's a super nice campground. We got a creek coming out of the lake. And look, it's a little baby float. All crab trap here. All right, so we're walking along the beach here and I just found this like absolutely ginormous pine cone. I mean, it's massive. I thought it was a pineapple. Uh, Alan here figures it's probably from California and it's floated up here somehow. That is gnarly. We are the only people here on this absolutely beautiful beach. Must all pay homage to the giant pine cone. Thank you.